What's going on? Can't really see yet. Well, Lake Ontario, here we are. The sandbar? Not here last week and I was here. It was either last week or the beginning of this week, I don't remember. It's all blurred out. Visibility is like six feet out, eh? you can see, which is way better than the other day. Uh, we saw a deer on the way down here, so hopefully that shows up the GoPro because that was awesome. And uh, yeah, that my first place, Lake Ontario. Uh, the audio today is probably not going to be the best because I'm going to be waist deep to, or deeper uh, in Lake Ontario today. So we're running the just a regular GoPro with no microphone. So I hope that works. And uh, it's early, 7 a.m. Wait for this fog to uh, burn off so I can uh, see what's going on. Start making trekking and then pack all my stuff inside my backpack in waterproof bag because, like I said, we're going to be knee deep to waist deep. And if I can get the rock pilots here, it might be armpit deep, but uh, I don't know. We'll see it goes. If I can see it, I'll go. I brought my walking stick today and I don't have to worry about crossing anymore because there's nothing across anymore. It's like knee deep. It was, it was awesome. Anyways, I'm here early, hopefully, to get some carp before it gets too hot because uh, we're calling for another uh, crazy day for weather today. It's like 38 degrees today with the uh, humid X, so hopefully it'll be uh, carpy and I'm here early enough for the carp to start moving soon. And uh, I'm looking for fish. I don't see any fish yet. But anyway, I'm gonna get the coffee in me. I'm gonna pack my stuff away and I'm gonna have at her. Welcome this episode of Killing Chasers, Great Lakes, Carp on the Fly. my food today at least. That's good. That's not good to me put it all in the water. It's cold and big waves. The fog is burning off the water. I don't think you see that camera. It's cool. The waves are coming in and pushing the cold water because the lake is freezing part of this river. It's creating fog right in between these two right in between these two logs. It's creating the fog. The cold water in the lake. To the warm water of the creek. This is the problem with the south wind down here. This is what happens. You got all the stuff in the bottom, it does this to your fly. Somewhere in here, if I fly. All right. It's moss, algae, bloom, craziness. It's hard to fish. It's roars. What's going on? Well, the good news is I saw uh, two carp. Yeah, two. The bad news. The bad news is uh, I, they were so close. By the time I saw them, I could have kicked them in my foot. <laughs> yeah, they're literally right at my feet. So the creek behind me is coming out right along the shoreline because it's uh, so narrow in the ways from yesterday. Pushed it all the way over there. So it's a bit of a swirl, but you can't really see it. It's all brown and dirty on on the inside of the creek towards the shoreline, and the fish are cruising around the clean, on the edge between the clean water and dirty water because the creek's probably 10 degrees warmer than the actual lake. The lake's cold. Yeah, thank God I wore nipkin socks today because the creek the lake is freezing. Anyways, that's what's going on. Saw two carp. Haven't even finished my coffee yet. I already saw two carp, so that's promising. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get one. Uh, if I get a shot at one, I think I can get them to eat. Hopefully. I got the right... This fly is my... I got so much confidence in this fly. This is when I tied that uh, last week that happy fly day. Anyways, that's what's going on. I haven't finished my... I'm trying to finish my coffee. And I'm just looking for fish and uh, get, hopefully get some shots. I may have to take a little bit more walk on some cleaner water. So the fish uh, are not moving in here, but they're starting to move in the creek. So uh, the lake sometimes there's a later later start. So right out there, like there, there's a giant rock pile that I usually stand on that today I can't even get to because uh, after I try to walk out there, one of these monster waves like this, it's like three footer, comes in and I can't get to it. They get knocked over. 
it's kind of sketchy. So I'm just gonna fish around it. I know it's there. I know the fish want to be here, so we're just gonna blind fish for a bit and uh, see how it goes. Cause uh, there's I saw more fish, so I know they're here. Oh, there's one right there. They saw me. They heard me. Right there. Oh, this is a swirl for it right there. Right my rod tip. That was him. Maybe have to close to the shore, maybe. They don't see me. Standing in this dirty water. Like, I can barely see my feet. I don't know if you can see my feet on camera or not. I'm waist deep. I can just barely see my toes. I just jump over the water right there. Came out. Right there or somewhere. something else even, eh? Big army plane. I don't even know where that guy came from. Holy crap. It's low. Really low. Smoke went off his wings. Both sides. That's weird. We spraying something, I wonder? Or is this exhaust? It's like he's spraying something. That was weird. I've never seen an army plane this little before. Not down here, anyways. What's going on? All right, I made the call. We made the 20 minute back to the road and checked the river and the creek and the flooded forest on the way back to the main trail. Didn't see a fish anywhere. So we made the 20 minute hike in the heat to spot number three, where I got my carp the other day. Um, I hope there's fish in here. The winds conditions are the same way. So uh, it's an uh, old harbor. So they should be all in uh, the corners of the harbor. Uh, we're, we're mic'd up now, so the audio should be awesome. That'd be awesome, right? So uh, this is spot number three, carpet to fly in the marina. I wanted to, I should have came here. You don't leave fish to find fish, but I wanted to check that spot out because last time I was there, the water was really dirty. Good conditions there today. Uh, the, the rollers coming in didn't really help me at all. Made it all dirty. That's the wind from yesterday, or I was picking up because there was no wind, and then it started getting worse and worse and clearer and clearer, and I didn't see any fish after I saw the fish this morning. Anyways, so we're at spot number three, like I said. Here's a carp in the marina on the fly. Oh, 
stay away from it. Just keep going. You should twitch it. Core at the same time. It's like right on his face. It's literally like two rods away. my tip today. I've been here for four or five minutes. I've had, I don't know, 12 shots. So every time I get three refusals in a row, I change flies. Now those fish are all on the surface, so I'm changing flies again. This is my fourth or fifth um, fly change. I'm putting on a beetle. They're all suspended like a foot or so off the, from the surface. They're kind of sun tanning, but they're kind of cruising at the same time. So we're going to try this beetle and see how it goes. But that's my tip. Refusal, after the third one, change flies. Start, clearly, it's either something you're doing or the fly. I always go with the fly. And just keep changing until you find something that works. There's a carp right under my fly. He turned. Come back, right? Or just get out of the way? I don't know. Cast it again. He's right in the surface now. There it is. I took where I get a foot and a half from his nose. So you can eat it. Keep nosing up. Come on, do it. Do it. Just going towards it slowly. Come on, 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 come on
you want to cast it again? Oh, do it farther. Oh, right there. That's right under his head. He's turning. He's turning. He's turning. Oh, he's right. He's looking right at it. A little twitch. He's looking right at it. He's looking right at it. Right there. Oh. Again. There. Nope. He's gone. What's going on guys? Well that pretty much ended my day. Someone turned out the lights. Got cloudy. Wind picked up. Brought the cold water in from the Lake Ontario into the marina. Fish gone. Disappeared. Didn't like the cold water. When I was at the air spot, the water was 55 and the river was 76. So the lake I'm assuming on here is probably the same thing going on over here. Anyways, that's my hunt. Quest for catch a carp on the fly. Three spots today. No go. Lost two over here. Uh, saw lots of fish in here. I'll have to come back here again. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you really like this video, hit that subscribe button. I'm Tears and Chasers. Thanks for watching. I'm out.